Hi, I'm Louise, and you're watching Offstage Tunes, where I share stories of indie musicians. My artist today is full of energy and is a master storyteller. He is here to share how he created and produced his latest album. All right, we are here on Zoom, and I'm joined by Marco. He is an entertainer, definitely a musician. And uh, I first found out about your music, Don't Panic. Uh, which you released just in April this year. It's all about dancing, and I thought it was yep. beautifully done the way it marries、um, dancing with the music.、Uh, that's really how、Thank、I got、you. to know you. Thank you for having me. First of all,、uh, my name is Lamarco, and I'm based in New York City. And yeah, actually, Don't Panic was produced by Ego, which we actually went to high school together, and we came together during this. Quarantine, like yo, we had an album that was already prepared of like fifteen songs, I think maybe, and then the 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 virus hit, and then the quarantine started, and so we were like, let's make up something that's relevant because nobody really wants to hear what we were talking about before, when all they can think about is like, ah, we got to get paper towels and and go get a bunch of canned foods and stuff like that, you know. And what about the the music? Like, what's the collaboration between you and Ego? So the way we work, I'll hear an idea that's starting to formulate, and he's like, "You like that?" And I'll just start coming up with the melody. And so with that, it was like, boom, boom. and I was like, "All right, cool." Uh, 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 uh. I started playing with the beat some more. And then I'm like, dance, da, 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 da. don't panic, hey! And he's like, I like that. And so it just builds, and it builds organically. And so that's what we did for this whole album. We came together, and we just sat there, and we just vibed. And whatever made us move, and whatever we reacted to, is what you guys hear. <laughs> How do you work on an album to really、um, tell a story? I think about what I'm going through at that specific point in my life, and then I figure how would I be able to express that to people. For instance, <laughs> the album that I was supposed to release wasn't relevant to the times happening now. We have Black Lives Matter, and we have. You know, coronavirus and all these other things going on that are way more poignant than love songs or breakup songs right now. You know, and so I, I felt I always try to feel the energy and what's going on, and I I just think what's what's relevant, what's relevant, and how can I authentically give that. Let's move forward to your very new album, which you have sure, just sure. released. Yeah, What is、yeah. the story behind this album? This album is called Lamarco Music, and、um, it was a surprise album. And what happened was the album that I previously initiate、um, initially wanted to release. There was like a scheduling conflict, and so I was like, I need to release something because I do release something, or at least do a show. Um, every year on my birthday, as just a milestone marker to me, like, all right, we're still in the game. We're still doing what we love to do. Just a, a checker, and it's like a birthday gift to myself. Because what else do I love to do this much besides music? So, I went in. I recorded some music, and、uh, I produced some songs. And I think this is actually great for me, specifically being an, a birthday album, that I produced all of these songs that are on this album. It has my sound, and I think you will now be able to tell what piques my interest as a listener as well. One of my favorites on the album is called "Call Boy," and it talks about not allowing yourself to be susceptible to be the person that's just called only for sex or only for just for something that's superficial, you know. And it's finding that awareness. So it's it's a sad song in a way, but The perspective that I give on it is not.、Nah, I'm aware that I feel this way, but I won't allow myself to feel this way anymore. And these are the steps I'm going to take in order to do that. When I reached out for your hand, you weren't there. So no. I'm 
music is pretty instructional. Instructional, as in mini life lessons. Yeah, like advice. It's pieces, of, little gems of advice that I've picked up along the way. Things that didn't work out for me, I share. The things that did work out for me, I share those too. The things that I'm like, I don't know if this is right, but y'all, y'all let me know. How do you feel? This ain't a service, no. This ain't a service, no. Thank you so much, Marco, for Thank spending you. a few minutes. Thank you for having me and supporting. This is awesome. Go on and put that phone back down. I'm not your call, Thing for us real quick. Yo. <laughs> Come on, Apple. All right, what did she say? <laughs> so I was saying that... Um,